Hello, my name is Amy Ecker. Welcome to my channel. So today I'm basically doing a full face of Marc Jacobs. There was just one or two little bits that I didn't have that was Marc Jacobs. And so I really liked how this look came out. I originally bought this little Marc Jacobs eyeshadow to try, but I really like the colors as far as to do a um, breast cancer awareness. And the month got totally away from me. But I still would consider this as a breast cancer awareness look. I do love all the colors. They did have some fallout, so when you kind of tapped your brush, you got a little poof. Um, each of the colors, basically I think I used, I did use all the colors in this palette. So I got to play with each and every one of them, and I like them. So this strong pink color went on really nice. But then the rest of the colors blended in very easy and they also were pigmented. So that was pretty exciting. I always like pigmented shadows. You just have to be aware of them when you first put them on so you can use a light hand and blend well. But I think, well actually this color is what I started with and I was like, wow, this color is pretty strong for a light color. Then I went in with this little bad boy and I knew for sure this palette was pigmented so really excited about that but again all the colors blended really well and I think for breast cancer awareness this was a fun look to put together. So if you want to see how the rest of my face went with Marc Jacobs, stay tuned. <laughs>
a on a scale of one to ten how do i feel about the eyeshadows i said normally i've really only done it over the last uh maybe handful of eyeshadows but as far as the Marc Jacobs palette goes, I really like it. Uh, I like how it's sleek. I like that it looks like an old timey purse. That is so adorable. The colors went on really well. Little, um, if you tap your brush, you got to see a little poof, which is fine when you're dealing with pigment. Um, you kind of just expect that, I guess. As far as the blendability, the blendability was there. Everything went on really nice, whether I used a brush or my finger, because I've just gotten to the point where I use a lot of my finger more with the shimmers. Seems to go better with all of the different colors, or excuse me, all of the different brands. So that went on really nice. On a scale of one to 10, presentation I give it a 10 and this palette is 710 Provocateur. Mm -hmm. um, I would order more of these in fact I'm gonna see what other colors that they have because I like this you can slide this easy in a purse or a travel bag and it doesn't take up a lot of room it is sturdy it's got a mirror inside I, I love how sturdy this is really great as far as my uh, the rest of my face went, I did use the Invisible Undercover from Marc Jacobs. On my lips, I used the Marc Jacobs in Allow Me, along with the color Slow Burn for my lips. I did not have a Marc Jacobs as far as in the blushes, highlighter, or contour so that wasn't marked but the eyeshadow was the inner waterline was um, my eyeliner was not however my eyeshadow was and then as far as my foundation goes this one is one of my holy grails this is in my top three and this color is in bisque medium so this is my foundation that I keep off to the side only for special occasions or for special meetings that I need to have my foundation last all day long and have it be really kind of smudge proof and just I know it's going to perform so Mark always has a little spot on the corner of my desk here because I want that for special occasions. And I think that is about it. But on a scale of one to 10, I would put this as a 10. I liked all the colors. I liked the blendability. It did have some fallout. Who cares when you get a good pigmentation and a high blendability. So I definitely would not only purchase this again, which I'm not big into pinks, as y'all know, but I would grab this one again. And I look forward to seeing what else I can find in these cute little palettes because I really like their their formula and their eyeshadow. So I'm going to give Mark a, a 10 out of a 10 on this eyeshadow palette. So thank Mark, thank you, Mark Jacobs and team. Y'all always do a fantastic job on products, and you can just count on you guys each and every time. And I thank you for the fact that we can count on you for being remarkable. So y'all have a great one. We'll see you soon. Thank you so much for watching today as I basically did a full face of Marc Jacobs and I didn't do a lot of talking. I bet that was exciting, right? So anyways, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.